All right, everybody, we picked up this Harbor Freight um, cement mixer for super, super cheap. It was on sale. We had a coupon. We had some items that had a price difference. So all in all, we made it out the door for about 150 bucks for this thing. You can't beat that. It's cheaper than you can rent it in some places. So we're going to get it open and put it together and see how it looks. All right, that's how it comes. There's a unit underneath it, we'll get it out, but it's packed pretty nice. Uh, nothing looks damaged. All right, and there's the lower half. It's packed in there well. Nothing looks broken in there as, uh, either. So we're gonna get, go through the instruction manual and start putting it together. All right, we got everything laid out. Um, pretty thoroughly impressed with the quality overall. Uh, everything felt beefy. The metal felt good. Uh, the little wheel there felt chintzy, but that's just to drive the belt and the drum, so I don't think that's going to be an issue, but everything else is heavy duty. The motor, the drum here, the gasket, the belt. So the first step to get this thing together is to create the base and get the wheels on it. So we'll get that done. All right, this is how the stand should look assembled. You're going to have a bolt with a washer coming through and just a nut on that side. And uh, this is a little distorted, so once we draw everything together, it will tighten up. But you want to finger start all these bolts, same thing here. So there's four for that cross beam. And then on the wheel, you got a big washer and a cotter pin, and a big washer on the inside. It pretty much assembles that. So we're going to tighten it all down and then go on to the next set of instructions. All right, we've got the lower half of the drum set on there. Again, we're just going to use one of the bolts with one of the nuts and washers. We got some short ones there with the different washers they are kind of smaller. Big bolt here for the spring loaded arm to move it. The next big thing we gotta do is put the motor on this side for this gear driven area. It rolls really decent. All right, we don't know if it's a big deal or not, but when you're attaching this uh, motor hood on this side, the motor comes attached already. So you have to uh, disconnect it with some zip ties and one bolt. Uh, up top here, if you see that slot, that snap ring was down there and it was kind of offsetting this so it wasn't sitting flat. So you may have to knock that around to that opening groove there. Keep that in mind because that was painted. On this side, wasn't so big of a deal because the whole thing cleared it looks like but again you could move that back up to a slot right there um, and I think that's where it's supposed to sit for accessibility and all that stuff but now we got to get the motor mounted up inside that box all right the motor was pretty tricky to get set up we got one of the bolts in there with that black washer and a hex key kind of spaced it out and rotated it by hand to make sure it fit good that's how the tray goes and around here is the bar with the longer bolts so the instructions are not too clear you're gonna have to refer to the picture to get it done but now we're gonna mount the front case on it and close this up because we think it's uh ready to go all right we're coming into the closing stretch here we got this all bolted up here uh, with these flange nuts and we're not sure if these bolts go everywhere they're going, they fit, and we followed it to the best we could, so it seems like it's working. Uh, the rubber gasket goes around here now. We're gonna silicone this first, then set that rubber gasket on there, uh, and then set the top piece on so that it stays in place so we don't have faith in that rubber gasket. All right, very simple. You just wanna lay a bead of silicone on both sides. Doesn't matter if it's sloppy, you can wipe it up later. We're just gonna go ahead and set the top half on it now and put the bolts in. All right, we got this thing together. We followed the instructions. A um, Couple things to note that their lock washers go everywhere on this thing. I know we probably missed some of them. Uh, the longer bolts go up top here. So at first we put the shorter ones in, but the longer ones do go up there. There were some videos online about these things being upside down in the instruction manual. Don't know, we just followed the instruction manual to a T. If something happens, we will update you, and hopefully it doesn't. Uh, other than that, there was minimal fitment issues. Uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. One person can put this together. Uh, you will need silicone and all that stuff. But other than that, everything's good. One thing we did notice, though, 
is the teeth are kind of hitting on the edge here on one side, and that's because this whole drum is out of alignment. It's kind of got a, a little wobble to it, and we'll show you. We'll turn it on. It's a little noisy. But if you can see, you can see it bouncing up and down. Hopefully with some concrete use, we can um, straighten that out or it'll straighten out itself. Other than that, it's not too bad. It's a little loud, but hopefully it'll straighten out. All right, everybody, that about wraps it up. We got this thing together. Again, just a 14 millimeter and adjustable wrench. Um, that's really all you need. A 10 millimeter as well. Some silicone. It's a good little setup. Has a fuse reset there and a lockout so you can't turn the power on. Uh, overall, this thing went together well. It's just got a little bit of warpage in the drum. Nothing too bad. I think that it'll work it out. But yeah. This thing uh, should work out well. Stay tuned for updates on it. We're going to use it and see if we can pour some good concrete with this thing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.